Hi there! Today I wanna show you three ideas about making DIY smartphone gadgets. Let's get started, and for the first project we'll need a micro USB plug, one white diode and a 100 ohms resistor. First of all, let us take the plug apart and carefully take out the micro USB. It's worth mentioning that the micro and mini plugs differ a lot, and it's not just about the size. There's also an additional terminal. In case if your plug has 5 contacts instead of 4 as in my case, don't worry, here's a pinout. You can easily figure out what components have to be connected and where. At this point, we have to connect the resistor to the positive terminal. In turn, we need to solder the anodes of the diodes to the resistor. The LED has both positive and negative terminals. The plus is the anode, and negative is a cathode. Let us solder the cathode to the negative terminal of the plug. In the end, let us whittle down the LED for it to fit in the case. Thanks to such a DIY flashlight, you'll not need to risk your smartphone's LED flash, because each time you use the phone's flash instead of a flashlight, it overheats, and after some time it may even break down. But our little flashlight will work up until the battery runs out. If yours is still working, then I advise you to use the micro USB plug another way. Take apart the plug case that you don't use, or find, buy one and smash it. Cut off the excess wires, leaving only small pieces. Now let us solder the big plug to the micro USB plug. The red wire is a positive, the white wire is a negative, green one is a plus, and the black one is a minus. In the end, let us customize the case and fit in all the components. And so, we've got such a great smartphone adapter! With the help of such a DIY adapter, you'll be able to use regular memory sticks with your smartphone. But before using, find out if your device compatible with this kind of feature. So, I think such an adapter will help you out at work or school. For instance, if you urgently need to view documents stored on your memory stick and you don't have a tablet or a laptop at hand, you'll be able to view them on your smartphone instead. The last idea should help you out in case if your earphones broke down. In case if you tore your earphone cable out of the input plug, not a problem, you can substitute the outer case with such a needle adapter. All you need to do is just carefully take the needle out and drill a hole of the same diameter as the diameter of your cable. In the end, we will solder the wires to the input plug and carefully slide the syringe adapter case onto it. That's it! So guys, today's video is over! Thank you very much for watching the video till the end! Don't forget to like and share, and I'm off recording a new video! See ya!